This sequence shows embryonic development of three tadpoles, Xenopus, over 18 hours. Note that during the early cell divisions, the size of the embryo does not change. This speeded up sequence shows embryonic development of a nematode worm within an egg. The sequence starts with the two nuclei fusing, fertilization, and proceeds with the subsequent cycles of cell division that give rise to the worm. This organism goes from a single cell to an adult with 1,000 cells in about three days. Since the worm is transparent, the fate of each cell in the developing embryo can be followed. This sequence shows the embryonic development of two zebrafish, Danio rario, over 12 hours. This is a time-lapsed sequence of a region of the yolk sac of an embryonic killifish that is about two days old. The field of view is approximately 250 micrometers in diameter. In this region of the embryo, you can see a large black pigment cell, many migratory deep cells, and the beginnings of blood vessels formed by endothelial cells. These blood vessels must form in a carefully coordinated manner throughout the entire embryo to ensure a closed circulatory system. As you watch, you can see the very first blood cells to be pumped through these vessels. A small group of blood cells appear to get stuck in an unfinished blood vessel in the center of the screen. The endothelial cells remodel and the vessel opens up. Unlike the more mature, flattened blood cells you saw in the opening sequences of this video, these very young embryonic blood cells are rounded and often bleb. The time compression is 1 to 85. As we switch recording speeds so that events appear to happen much closer to real time, we see that the blood cells are actually slowly progressing through the blood vessels as the young heart just starts to pump.
When we switch back to the original recording speed, the dynamics of blood cell movement become obvious.